today we are going to discuss inverse of a matrix we are going to discuss inverse of a matrix okay so we are going to discuss whether the inverse exist for a square matrix or for a non square matrix and so on so forth so for the first point uh, what i am saying is the inverse exist for only square matrices inverse exist for only the square matrices that means a 3 by 3 matrix has a inverse and a 4 by 4 matrix has a inverse and a 3 by 4 matrix doesn't have inverse that is the first point he is saying next one only non singular matrices has inverse suppose if you consider a 4 by 4 and 3 by 3 matrices if the non singular if the determinant not equal to 0 then only it has an inverse so first it should be a square matrix that means it is a 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 and so on forth and it should have the determinant not equal to 0 its a determinant not equal to 0 its a determinant not equal to 0 then it possesses inverse so now what i am going to discuss is the gauss jordan method to find out the inverse of a matrix so i am discussing about the gauss jordan method to find out the inverse of a matrix okay first what you have to do is let us consider the matrix of order a matrix is of order n by n that means it has n rows and n columns then a can be written as a is equal to i n a this is the first step you have to write it in the form of a is equal to i n a where i n means nth order unit matrix next step is apply only row operations you have to apply only the row operations on the matrix this a and the prefactor of a i n you have to apply the only row operations on this one and also this one you have to apply the only row operations so if you go on applying the operation then this matrix a is equal to i n a it has been reduced to i n equal to b a okay then this b matrix is called the inverse of this matrix a okay we go through the problem so here i have taken the matrix a uh, 3 by 3 matrix so 1 1 3 1 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 first of all you have to write the matrix given matrix you have to write as a is equal to i3 a i3 a so a is nothing but the given matrix i have written here and the i3 means third order unit matrix i have written here a just i have written a next what you have to do you have to apply the operations on this matrix and you have to reduce this one to normal form you have to apply the operations on this matrix which type of operations you have to apply you have to apply only the row operations and reduce this matrix to normal form okay so i have applied the row operation r2 gives r2 minus r1 and r3 gives r3 plus 2 times of r1 so this matrix the left hand side matrix we will get like this and the right hand side matrix also i am applying the same row operations it will get, get like this into a so if you go on applying the operations row operations only on this matrix then the finally it will be reduced to of the form a normal form then whatever the matrix here you will get that is called the inverse of the matrix a so the left hand side matrix is in the normal form then whatever the matrix you have obtained here that matrix is nothing but the inverse of this matrix a this is the procedure to find out the inverse of a matrix using gauss jordan method okay thank you